I'm low-key want to chop my hair off. Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. So today is kind of a video that's starting off a new thing that I want to do on my YouTube channel. So I kind of came up with this idea like in January, beginning February, but then I just did not execute it. Um, so I'm doing it now since it's like the beginning of the month and I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm already gonna fail, but it's okay because uh, you gotta try things in life and to see if they work out, but it's, it's okay. What I'm going to do from now on is every month I'm going to be, I guess, showcasing a makeup brand and many of the products that they have to offer. Really the intention is, depending on what the brand does have to offer, uh, the goal is to make a minimum of four videos a month with that brand, not with, well, I guess using the brand, because um, I post, uh, I guess eight times a month, I post twice a week. So that means one makeup video a week using the brand. So like I said, a minimum of four videos, but it could obviously be more if I wanted to, which I would hope to, but also I do like skincare videos and hair videos, then also I'd be lacking on those too. So whatever. But in every one of those videos that I am wearing makeup, just know I am wearing that particular brand. Um, so the first brand that I'm going to be using is LYS. Now, I already did LYS last month, at the end of last month, because it was Black History Month and it's a black owned brand. So I just wanted to do that. So this month is going to be all about LYS. Okay, not all because like literally this next video is not going to be about LYS. But see, LYS is basically one of those examples where it's like I will try to make a minimum of four videos a month with this brand because they don't have really that many products that I could really work with. But if you saw my other video using LYS, I basically put on everything that I bought from the brand and I'm planning on doing more videos with the brand. But today, today, I have, of course, no makeup on and I am wearing clothes, I'm wearing a bandeau, but I actually want to go ahead and put their um, foundation, what is this thing called? Match Finder? Let me go look at this real quick. Match by brand, okay? I wanna put their Match by brand to the test because if you did see my last video, I said that I had two foundations that I knew my exact shade in and I have them with me right here and both of those options gave me the same LYS foundation, which this one is DG3. So the two brands that I know my exact shade in is the Revolution Conceal and Defy Full Coverage Foundation. This is in the shade F12.2 and the AOA Studio Shot Miss A Drop Foundation. It, it has different names, I don't know. Um, foundation in the shade 310 amber and I did videos on both of these foundations you can go ahead and just go up in the card um so I know my exact shade in both of these if you need help anyways let's go ahead so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the LYS beauty foundation I'm going to put it directly in the middle of my chest if I can see and hopefully y'all can too, but I'm gonna put this directly in the middle of my chest. Also, I have to do this backwards because, uh... Okay, so this is the LYS foundation right here in the middle of my chest. I'm going to go ahead with the foundation that honestly I wear the most. Um, oh, I will say that this LYS foundation is more of a natural, more dewy finish because it is made for people with dry skin. Um, I did know that when I did film the other video, I just didn't say it, but it's made for people with more dry skin. This one is the one I grab the most because this one is more for oily skin and I have oily skin. And this one is more of a satin, so it could kind of work for both. Like if you use powder, then I mean, you could get kind of a matte look, but it's not gonna be completely matte. Um, but I grabbed this one the most, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this one. All right, so there it is right here. Ooh, you could definitely see a difference. 
I feel like the undertone is the same, it's just the LYS is darker, which I don't really mind because when I did use it in the video, I feel like the powder helped tone down the shade a little bit. And also, uh, my face is lighter than the rest of my body. Is it? I did exfoliate recently and I look like I match all the way through. I don't know, I could be crazy, but now let's go on with the AOA Studio Foundation. Okay, and then here is the AOA Studio Foundation. I personally like this one a lot better. Already to me on camera, this low key feels like this one is disappearing. It kind of feels like this one is too, just a little bit, but I could see it, but this one is the most noticeable but i could see how this was the closest to both of these it's just that this is just a little bit darker that's why i said in the video that um i was probably gonna go ahead and get another shade but i was really just trying to test out um really trying to test test out their um match by brand thing on their website and you know what I'm not gonna lie I personally feel like they did a pretty good job it's just that um when it came to this one that's where it's like uh oh but then when it came to this one it's like oh, okay I could kind of see it also what I really do like about this is that these are great to mix in with other foundations so if, even if I wanted to I could like take this and I could mix it in with the LYS to probably get like a more probably a slighter shade if i wanted a little bit more slider i do actually have um the next shade down from the aoa studio but what i think i'm going to do i wasn't planning on doing this but what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and take the lys and the aoa studio nope aoa studio um foundation and i'm gonna do like a side by side um and the reason why I'm doing that is because the AOA Studio is the one that has the closest finish to the LYS other than this one because this one will be straight matte and that might not look right. So I'm going to go ahead, put my face on, and um, then I'll come back. Oh, I will be using the LYS primer. So, yeah. So right now I do have both foundations on. This side is LYS. This side is AOA. On first go... Just looking at it, I'm liking the AOA Studio Foundation better shade-wise. Um, and also kind of finish-wise. Because like I said, I'm an oily person and this is... It's not like a lot, a lot, but it's like it's kind of a lot for me, you know. That's why I wish they would like work on a like a, a matte formulation. Also, if y'all do just want to go ahead and do a satin, because this one is like, I really like... The finish of this as well but uh i mean this is cute it's cute to be honest i'm not gonna lie but yeah so far i like this side better than this side um i am going to be using the lys powder and personally i feel like the powder is really gonna just like help this blend with this um so then we could really see you know what's going on but so far aoa is winning on this side i'm gonna keep it a buck i do not want to do my hair so i'm just gonna keep this headband and yo i might just put my hair up in mini twists since i just i'm not i just haven't been feeling my hair lately i don't know but this is about the foundation so i have my whole face on i'm also filming another video because your girl gotta multitask and do as much as she can. Um, so like I said, this side right here is the LYS foundation. And then this, where did my foundation go? Why did I put them away like that? So this side right here is the LYS foundation. And this side right here is the AOA Studio foundation. Like I said, I wanted to do both of them because they had the most similar finish to each other. Um, I don't know what it is about the LYS foundation. It does not like my nose. Like, I feel like there is some patchiness, like right on the bridge right here, which I purposely like kind of overlapped um, both foundations to try to, you know, like fix it. But I guess it didn't do the greatest of job. It just, it's just like kind of patchy on my nose. And it's like, I'm thinking, I used to think like, oh yeah, it's probably my nose, but it's like, no, the AOA one got my nose 
pretty well and I'm not seeing any patchiness but um this is really isn't about the performance of the foundation that's gonna be another video um it's more about like the shade comparison I think if I were to go outside and be around the humans which um when when do y'all realistically think that we're going to be out with human beings safely um I don't think it's gonna be for another minimum year but you know whatever um I feel like if I were to wear both of these foundations outside I feel like me personally I would see a difference but I feel like everyone else wouldn't be able to see a difference maybe slightly because I could see that this one's just a little bit darker it's a little bit darker but it works like I feel like that powder even though that powder is truly translucent um, oh, I'm swinging this around. That is supposed to be for the next video. Oops. Okay. Well, y'all might already know what the next video is about. But I feel like that powder really helped tone down the shade just a little bit. Once again, it's not a bad foundation. I feel like they did do a pretty good job with the shade matching. I feel like... I would say it could use a little bit more work. I mean, I guess it can, but it's also like not every brand is going to make the exact same shade. Like, they're not it would be great because it will be so much easier when it's you know time to buy more foundations and stuff but I mean that's realistically not gonna happen but since I was able to get something really close that's great um, so I would say go ahead and try their match by brand and if you don't feel like that's um, good enough they do have shade finder where you pick um, models with like similar undertones and shades as you and I did that and I got a completely different shade T in something and I thought that was going to be closer but now since I did this one I'm like oh I think T in whatever was going to be too light but I also have a foundation that I could mix in with it to make it darker if I needed to. But anyways that is it for this video. If you like it please give it a like. Also comment down below have you tried LYS Beauty yet? Have you checked out my other video about LYS Beauty? If not go ahead and check it out. Are you like an oily skin person? but like before is more satin and like dewy finishes or you a dry skin person that before is more matte finishes because they're they're those people exist okay those people exist so you know I don't want to I don't want to you know yeah this is still a very cute foundation like I really like it I just we gotta figure out some some stuff. We gonna play with it this month. We gonna play with it this month. And if you are subscribed, please click that notification bell so you get notified every time I post. And if you are not subscribed, please do because we're trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. Okay, I'm gonna go. Bye.